I worked on a number of things this year. Um, housing is obviously a huge one. Doing a big bill on more housing production, particularly for low-income communities. I have an aggressive bill on protecting access to safe and legal abortion and ensuring that no one is criminally prosecuted for experiencing any kind of pregnancy loss. Um, did some big bills on uh, ghost guns and ensuring guns are uh, not on our streets, as well as other issues impacting women, a sexual assault bill, um, a bill to allow for more people to have doulas uh, during the birthing process, uh, and many other good kind of consumer protection type bills. Well, I am chair of the housing committee here in the assembly. So I spend a lot of time obviously working on housing policy. I also sit on the banking and finance committee where we do really good consumer protection work. Uh, I'm on the transportation committee, which is important because transportation and housing are obviously uh, very key. I sit on budget sub four, which looks at how we're actually investing in all the affordable housing work that we're doing. So those are some of the committees that I sit on. I mean, we worked on thousands of ADD claims. Um, this has been the number one issue in my district office. And in the height of the pandemic, we had almost all of my staff focused exclusively on EDD cases. Um, it's been a big issue. I've run legislation in this space because of the issues and challenges around EDD. But I think, you know, a lot of constituents don't understand that they can come to their state legislator and ask for help helping to navigate state government. And it's actually a very important, and I would say almost arguably the most important role that we can do in terms of serving our constituents. I'm most proud of AB 2011, which is a bill that will streamline much needed housing production while also putting forth very aggressive but doable labor standards. Um, it's probably one of the biggest bills, housing bills in the legislature to date um, this year. I'm really proud of it. We're going to get it across the finish line and I do believe it's going to really help solve our housing crisis here in California.